What is up, all my slimes? We're back here with another YouTube video with Red Redemption Part 6. Told y'all it's coming. Left y'all on a cliffhanger again last time. So I'm not gonna waste any more of y'all time again. We finna get right into the video. Let the loading screen commence. So, for a recap, last time we was here, we had to get some sheep, which I'm marching to buy a, buy a little sniper rifle, take some sheep. Had to bring some sheep to it. We had to take some sheep. We had to take some sheep to a little pen or whatever. And then these guys, I guess, found out that we stole them. Whatever. We, uh, past that point, that's not even important. Real, what's really important is after we took the sheep there, we had to go to the saloon where where um Dutch was. And while we were in there, sent John to go over see the the sheep or whatever what was going on there. And out of nowhere, Leviticus Cornwall. If you guys remember that name, that's that guy. That's that train we robbed. Leviticus Cornwall. That was his train, not the not the one we robbed by ourselves. The one we robbed with Dutch. That was his train we robbed. So he came, had to shoot up the place. We shot up the place. Had to, now we're wanted alive or dead in Valentine. So now we're moving. And also before that, I, before I left y'all on that cliffhanger, I did be a little a little lenient. I went to go back for Micah. We robbed a stagecoach horse and a couple of dollars from it. Had to shoot out with those drizzles. So now, and now we're here. Cause this auto save. Turn up a little bit, not too much, cause I don't want it to echo through the mic. What's up, Lenny? Yo, where's that Dutch mission at? Just let me get dressed first. No, I don't like this suit too much. Everybody, y'all dressed up and everything. Dang, y'all really, really ready to go, huh? Alright, let's get on our regular clothing, you know. That's what I wear. Oh, we already got that on, okay. So let's go to coats. You know what we be wearing. We're going to change up the boots this time, yeah. We're going to change up the boots. You know, we've been wearing that one same boots all the time. Going to change it up. Them pants, them pants. Can wear these. Suspenders. Alright, let's see what boots we can change up. Probably wear these. Make them black. I'll do it. I can do that. We could do these. These look nice and fresh. Let's see what that looks like. Nah, that don't look right. Alright. Let's try these. What that look like? Nah, it's not really going with it. Let's go back to those. Try black. Let's see what that look like. I guess we could do that. I don't know. Um. Let's get our bandana. You know, we need that just in case. Um, let's take them gloves off. Satchel. Okay, looks like we good. Alright. Alright, let's launch, let's go. Let's take us a rest before we go. Probably to the evening. Takes noon, evening, then night. Go to night. And then we'll make up in the middle of the night, see what's going on, and then we'll wake up again in the morning. Let's check on the chat. Uh, we'll be fine. 
someplace sensible, shake them and What's up, us Chandler? I know that you with Green Lava Games. Turned into a bunch of killers. What's up, my boy? We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We oh, are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. Sorry for it's echoes to the mic. Soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. So, Dutch. You all right? Dutch, I'm going. So, we moving? Yeah. Mike has told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Sure. All right, let's go, Slum. So you just waiting here with your boys like he knew he knew exactly oh wait that's not Charles oh my mistakes my mistake Charles I didn't mean to disrespect you like that ride to Dewberry can I get like a a a, 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 a GPS location or like can, like help me get to there I guess not gonna be like that be like that Right, where is Dewberry at? This way? We're moving more of this way. I want to move this way. I want to go this way. Okay, let's go. Let's go check out Dewberry. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. I guess we just got to go out this way because we can't we ride a horse to the camp. We pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Must know where we are by now. All right, we're on our way to Dewberry, fellas. So we're heading south. And ladies. Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. Let's go to and I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as rough. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. And this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah. They've certainly got money behind them. They... Uh, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Oh, so this is Dewberry Creek, huh? Careful, little Morgan. Hey, I see something over there. Oh, that boy gotta be dead. How dead? Just make sure don't nobody come sneak up on us. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. We don't do pick it up. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. 
Gotta keep them guns out, you don't know. Pull around. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. I take everything too. Ain't nothing up in here but two cots and a lamp. A lamp. Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. Man, being careful. Are you sniffing a place? Kill him. It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? It's German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. We don't even know where they took him. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. That's cool, girl. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. Alright, Dan Charles. What's going on with you? We get killed to shut up. Careful. You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breathing down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hey, wait, just let me make sure this is right. Looks like they go down this way. That is crazy. Why are we following this so lady for what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? What I want to do is move Jack, camp late on the they were to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then if you ask me. Hold up. Let me check this. Maybe that man out there was the father. That dead dude out there, maybe that was the father. Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. <laughs> what is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real... Wait a second, just want to look closer here. They 
Let's get him brighter. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yeah. When Jack was real young, a long while. You hear him? He did? And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Whoa! Seems deserted. Let's take a look. I want to shoot everyone in this camp. Arthur. Ha! Easy now. What's the guy tied up over there? Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Quick. Cut him free and let's get out of here. Come on. You know we ain't gonna die. You get the hell away. I don't want that. Well, you know I will use it. I'll use it. You ain't coming out of the box. What do we do? This ain't even our goddamn fight. We die because of this Charles. There it go. Now your boy Arthur don't play about that gunfire. Well, that's them dealt with. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Bitte, lass mich gehen. Machen Sie mich los. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here, you wait there a second. Char Go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Come on. Yep. All right, let's go. Not the place I was hoping to move to, but. All right. Come on. I'll take you back to your family. Was machen wir jetzt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu deiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. I dunk. Shot. Oh. Andreas, Andreas, I have lost this. I stole. My hands so red. My lieblinge, my hearts, all liebst. <laughs> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Vamos! I have something for you. One moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Guess it was a pleasure. Yeah. Mike fell out. How much is that? How much is that worth? Sorry for the little black square too. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Chapter 3, Clemens Point. Rob and steal more of this chapter. A few days later. If you want to get out so bad, Dutch, just rob and steal a lot more. I will bite by a lake, that's good. I'm gonna put that gold inside the donation box, yep. I don't need to go. I got 400 on me. Another day. Tribute. Let's give him that gold ball. If I donate everything except for this, I'll donate one of the buckles. I don't know what is it with me in these buckles, but I like it. That's all I got for camp. Ooh, I got to camp at 6.30. Okay, Dutch, you don't need me? Right, let's go see what Dutch need. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in the field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform I shave a society bit. to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now I'll give you that, but come on. What kind of mission is this? We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long, old Who's this? Uh... <laughs> Wait, always dream yeah. crushing and bubble birds. Come on, Jose. Let's go pick him. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Turn it up a little bit. Sorry for if it echoes. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. But 
Or any of them back there. Oh, it was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought. Especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching. But I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. Come on, Dutch. Start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine. What a clue of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Looks like law. We're one the men traveling past the law. I hate that. Come on, Dutch man, play cool. Junk boy, junk, junk, junk. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to. Well, well, look who it is. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. We helping a lawman now? Foolish Come magician. on, man. Let's go after that train. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Come on, little Morgan. Let's go. Looks like you son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. You are a goddamn joke. Ah. Damn. Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. The train's killed. slowing down to go through the station. Now's our gotcha. chance. Get to the side of the train. Come on, you must be able to get next to it. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Hey, why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Okay, now we gotta beat, gotta beat him up. Please. Gotta beat him up. Come on! You stop them, I'll 
Knocked off my hat and it fell off the train. Your body is gone. I'm finna punch you off of it. I'm finna go off the train with my hat. You understand me? Understand me, boy? Understand me? Get off this train. Get off this train. Get off this train. Oh, that's my hat. Okay. Glad it ain't fall off. Come here, mister. Mr. Anderson. Chill with that, chill with that, chill with that, chill with that. Okay, okay. Get over there, beat me with the knife. Okay. Now you getting them Daisy Dukes beat out of you. Hit you with them Daisy Dukes, you know? Hit you with you. Okay, 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 chill, chill, chill. Hit you with them Daisy Dukes. And with them Daisy Dukes. Okay, okay. Daisy Dukes, bro. Daisy Dukes. Feel? Daisy Dukes. I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy. It sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Well, take him in. Come on. Where'd yours come from? A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. You're only what taking him in. Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brain to the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. All righty, then. Let's make it We're down the road. Left here. With this delinquent on our horse. Okay, so can't rob anybody, can't do anything bad. So it looks like I'm gonna have to put my nice boy clothes on then, huh? Whoa. I ain't gotta walk around with a hat on all the time then. Seems we as are. if we're Welcome good down Rose. here. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. 
We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Hey, fellas. Anything for you, Mr. Lawman. Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Okay, this way. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend Who's to that? appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers, who've gone, sadly, to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rooms. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 Bro, miles. Bro, it's so dusty here. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Who is that? Boy, boy needs shame. Put on his good boy okay. clothes. You understand? So two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place. See what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good, Hosea. You see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Oh, I'm good. Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. Yeah, y'all go get some bonding time. I'll catch up later. Damn. Ask her she alright. This is really dusty here. Hey, ma'am. How do you do? Hold on. Hold on, just a second. Let me check this bank out. Mister? Mister? Aha. Hello, sir. Come in. Sir? Hopefully we can rob this bank. Well, we'll be here when you need us. Yep, yep. Let's get. This is really dusty here. I can't see myself standing here. But. That's what we gotta do. Who's this? Weapons forbidden grace. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can at least take out my gun. Can I? Nope. Alrighty 
did there. Let's get over over to us. Where are we at? Leopold Strauss. We don't need to do Leopold Strauss. Let's make our way back home. Put our nice people, nice boy clothes on. In friend or nothing. The Dutch kindly asked me not to use weapons. Nice boy clothes on to go speak to that gray dude. You know, or check out about the gray dude. Oh, hey, Arthur. Now make yourself useful. And the first oh, we can't do anything you bad, um, Sean. I ain't complaining. You are complain, complain, complain. Complain, 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 complain. I'm not worried about Mr. Pearson. See if we got some good boy outfits in here. This look like a good boy outfit. They say they're innocent, but I don't, don't want to wear nothing like that. Let's see the rough thing. Right, let's switch, up, switch it up a little bit. We don't need any coats. Could wear a blue shirt, you know. No, I like that vest. <laughs> what boots we gonna be wearing? I'll do that. That should be enough of a good boy. Put on our little neck chief. Not that's too much. Gun belts. I wanna wear my upgraded one. Just make it sure. Let's go. Let's save a little bit. Look how thick our mustache is. Let's bring it back down to about like two. Yeah. Let's keep all our beard at a two. So whenever we just do it, we're gonna go to all facial hair and keep it at a two. We could pomade out here now. Since we a good boy. Good man. Ain't 
that right, Micah. Get that right, Micah. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Let's go speak to. I forgot his name. It was Gray something. Mr. Grays. I'm just gonna speak to the Grays then, I guess. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon. Don't want to do that mission. Get me away from here. Don't stop hissing at me. I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slap you up. Put that knife down or you're gonna be missing a Can I please what leave? Wrong with you two? I ain't Please. chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you. Well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? Let's go. Let's teach her a little lesson. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. Please. You cool down then yet? I guess. But I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat and half wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Are oh, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <laughs> there. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually you fool. to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All males be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells them to start expecting mail from a Tassus Kilgore, whatever they change it to. I know that horse can just sit there and die. We got work to do. Oh. Sorry, mister, on the back of that horse. It's gonna happen again. I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm just go around you. I'm just go around you. I'm so sorry. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Excuse me. Everyone. Everyone. Everyone, excuse me, please, please. I am so sorry. This is very trash. Okay, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. Hey, you want me to drive? Hey, mister. Get out of the way. What's your goddamn problem? How about I send you south? 
cocksucker! So Red what's the hold up here? You're done! Oh no 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 please please I am so sorry. I am not. I am certainly not. Please get away. Get away, get away, get away, sir. We are committed to no violence here. Thank you, sir. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you No! You insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. See how your boy looking all decent like. Change up, whatever. Uh, no, put it back, put it back, put it back, put it back. Listen, listen, listen. Okay. Sorry, man. Hey, folks. What did you get there, Harold? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? What's in the park? You're finished! Look. Whoa, 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 sir, 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 leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. No, leave me alone, leave me alone. Stop chasing me. Stop chasing me, dude. Leave me alone. Please, let me defuse the situation, sir. Excuse me, partner. You sure do look foolish. Can I defuse the situation, sir? No. Okay, how about we leave each other alone? All right. All right. Trying to be a good boy. None of that bad boy stuff. Why y'all look all dirty and dingy? And I'm out here looking like. Look at that man busting my lip and everything. I'm so glad I ain't got to beat him up. He gets to live today. Hello. Oh, you on this side. Okay, okay. I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Well, there it is. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Well, I must get on. Bye bye. Hello there. Are you well? Let's right, we'll get back to the wagon. Hello, sirs. Hello. Howdy there. Everything okay? Hello, mister. Hey. Let's get on over here. Would you hurry up already? I'm working. What is taking you so Listen, long? Listen, lady, I got it all in the wagon there. I could train my goat to do this faster. What did you go in there and buy? I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not Lady. I know. Yo, I heard that. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. 
I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. What was her item request? Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh, what you folks up to? Just heading home. Oh my god. You're in Lamorne Raider country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey! How's about this? Go, go, go! Oh my god. Damn it! Get moving! Oh, why, why this? Why are we trying to be good boys? They was gonna rob us. New pair of pants. You think you're landing rickets? Oh, shut up! I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down. Well, we wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your wish. Sorry, Dutch. It wasn't my fault. About to get your lady over here. What's her name? Sadie. You okay there, Sadie? Dang, I ain't want to do no outlaw stuff. Been back if you wasn't shooting at nobody. I could defuse the situation. Oh, no, pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Yep. We show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Braiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ripping piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of followers. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And All right, guys, we gonna make since 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 we gotta be good boys. We gotta have to put away the second second revolver. Gotta put that pouch up. I'll some work for the outlaws.
go. We're gonna be good men and have only our Keep one revolver. Can you walk a little faster, please, Arthur? Now let's put up this pouch. Put away. Oh, we gotta keep it on. Excuse me, you listen to me. I ain't got ideas above my station. I just ain't doing that no more. We all take the thing to our stuff. It's crazy. We gotta keep it on. Well, I guess so. Alright. Go sleep. Do the morning. How dare she? Let's go see about them grays. Oh, hey, Arthur. No. Not right now. Good morning. Good morning. I gotta keep this freaking... I gotta keep this this gun on my back and he's okay, it don't matter. Yep. Yeah, I want my repeater. If anything. There it is right there. Oh, but nah, I don't need anything really. There's my revolvers. Thick water we over here moving through, huh? Where is he? Yeah. Got your little bath in, didn't you? Got a Dutch mission too. Gray's all the way up here. Whoa. Come on, little Morgan. Let's get you up. I didn't even see that tree there. Okay, girl. Let's get you something to eat for that. You again, girl. Yep. This here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Cal hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. 
but I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. So I just gotta ask around about the graves. Yeah, I'm coming in. You see me walking in, right? I blast and I am. Um, I look like a, I look like a well-mannered boy. I don't even look like an outlaw. I'm proud of myself. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Alright, let's go. He's all the way back here, never mind. There's a lot of firewood right here. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's... Like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. I gotta sneak around the guards. How far is this Braithwaite place? Down that way. Here. Wait. Yep. Yep, yep. Let's get. Let's go to the breakaway area.
Braithway place. Sneaking around. Alright, let's go. Ooh, it's foggy too, that's good. Seems to be cracking defenses here. If I die because of this dude Sea creatures come and take me up. I guess it turns blue every time I lose in stamina or whatnot. Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out... Look at me all wet. They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Nah, yeah, I'm not gonna be a mail boy. Let's go. 
I like this horse. I might take it. Oh, oh, Le Morgan. It's not what it looks like. I'm sorry. Come here. You're the only one. You're the only one for me. You're there, girl. Let's ditch this place. Right, let's go see what Dutch wants, so I'm not finna get no letter to bow right now. What is this? Molly. What's this? Dutch. Dutch Vandalin. Seems like a wild jungle, but at the same time, a dead area. like you boys you know when I don't like you guns don't like you either so how's about we settle this right here and now huh settle that old school right right here and now am I correct or not cause I'm gonna hide behind this tree oh I'm boy. I'm Sorry, Dutch, but these boys got to go. Took this whole camp out. Oh, this boy over at drinking water. At Look at this dude. Just look at him. One more 
more battle to lose. Oh, never mind. I looted it up. Alright, let's go. Now you can walk down this road all peacefully or not, huh? Yep. Don't worry, Dutch. I just killed a few raiders outside this, outside this town. I wonder what we finna do here. That's gonna make us leave. But I think we should rob that bank. I don't wanna be here, Dutch. Come on, man. We gotta stop working for the law if we run up on them. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. <laughs> Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. Now, Dutch, what are we gonna do? I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. I don't want to be no freaking now. deputy Dutch. I'm gonna rob a time. bank. Temperance movement. Liquor Kill. never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Look at this badge. Archibald. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh. <laughs> Yes, uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners, Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, 
few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Grays so and robbing the them for gold. The others this is a bank. I want to rob that bank. I want to rob them for gold. So bro, we can ago, clean this town out. For sure, if it's true. Must be tough being rich. I'm going to check this map out what we got. For. Fish, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Dutch, we can rob this town clear. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa. Look at my look at my horse a little Whoa. more. Always following. Do you see that wagon? These damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Okay, then let me get this. No, oh, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. I want to shoot you in the head, but I'm not going to. taking the reins I want to have a look at these papers sure I'll direct you okay Frederick Mitchell Lemoyne State Legislator poor feller yes this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law that's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone yep not the nicest feathers in my experience Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shit. Careful! Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Have you driven one of these before? Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Bear right again here. Drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to them. Don't even look them in the eye. It's really I'm foggy sure and droopy around here. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Alright. Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Can you walk a little faster? What 
did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, handle this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he's definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea, Arthur. Remember what he said. We need them alive. So what are we gonna Let's do? Just knock them out and tie them up. Got it. All right. Deputy Williamson. Okay, I gotta go all the way around her this way then. Cause he gonna see me if I come to the front here. Just here with my fist, none knows. Get some deputies. Sir, you are under arrest. Gentlemen, I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure, anyone but him. Oh, so, I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about the. <laughs> that is the last well, time I'll mention it. I swear. swear. Yeah. Oh, well, now we got eight dynamites, huh? I was too close, damn. I didn't know it was sparked. I I sparked it, but when I threw it, it didn't look like it was still sparked. Here I come, Bill. Don't worry. Oh. I'll run in again, huh? Oh. We're just gonna use one. We're just gonna use this one. This is what we call our law pistol. This pistol ain't nothing compared to my gold one.
How about you chase them down, my boys? Don't move it them all in this body. Be here when their friends notice the shine's gone. Digital hat Dutch. Let me see this. Look, I look a, I look a lot nicer than you do, Dutch. Look at my hat, Dutch. You like it? How does it feel being a fine upholder of the law? Not that different to our normal lives so far. Who were those fellers? Not sure. Probably the people they were selling to. Guess we can't ask them now. And I thought I was protective over my liquor. Um, I don't want this hat anymore. Look at me with this well goofy old hat on. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But... I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me, okay? Yeah, let me get this hat off. This hat looks dumb. Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Mm. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, okay. go. Dang, Dutch. 
Okay, Dutch. Okay, Dutch. I see. Watch out. You never nah. Much of a rider. Nah, you watch out, Dutch. Yeah, keep up now. Yeah, boy. I hope we don't have to keep these badges on. I ain't trying to walk around. People asking me for help. Then I'll be forced to. Come on, Dutch. Talk about robbing these families and then robbing that bank. Oh, really, Dutch? Oh, Dutch. That's all right. Lil Morgan know what to do. Come on, Lil Morgan. Cut through. Cut through, Lil Morgan. Let's go. Looks like we're losing this one. It doesn't matter, Dutch. Don't matter. Hopefully, I get to catch up to you, though. Away from me, Dutch. Not that fast. Okay, horse, 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 horse. Up. Yeah, you got it, little Morgan. You got it. Come on, catch up. That's my little horse here. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. All right, can't take this badge off. <laughs> I gotta go back out, Dutch. All right, girl. All right let's see. Was my own Molly? I ain't really gotta go nowhere. Hold on. Hey, Arthur. Can, can I have a yes, quick word? Miss Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it, as long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. 
Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the Well, I got my badge on and Bill does easy it. Pickings. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. I look like a deputy. Smart Alex. Yeah. How do you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys went off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs Mars like this since you fell for me to a grasshopper. Hey. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Well, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon. Williamson? Sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Uncle, put your bandana on, creep. There. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Easy. Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa. Stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know, <laughs> who doesn't? I. Two. Oh, I'm sorry, I had a trigger finger. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I had an itchy trigger finger. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. There. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Gotta have both of them. I'm not making me seem more intimidated. I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Something. Oh, great. Let's go, Arthur. Let's go. Yeah. All right, boys. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Wagon in goddamn history. How loud I know? Oh, 
I mean, you supposed to scope out, watch him for a while. I'm with you. How about you stay with me? I'm in the back for protection. No problem. Where my gang go? Uh, shoot. It's me over there trying to shoot the dudes. Oh, shoot. Let's hit him with that. Oh, it's a lot of them. So I'm risking. Light us up, boys! Get rid of these sons of bitches! They will come on! Keep going! Yeah. Got some free shooting. Where the hell are we going? Getting out of here! What kind of dumb question? Dig in, boys! Come on! Ah! Wait for me, boys. You can move fast when you have to, can't you? Just shut up, Williamson. Wait, you sons of bitches. Go! Get in there! We got a lot of company back there. Get back here. Keep going! We're losing them. Go! Quick! Get off the trail! Into the woods. Let's shake him and get back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leading Cornwall's men to camp. All right. Yeah. Whoa. Let, let, let's hide in here. Quick. All right. Go on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. Let's All right. Go ahead, little Morgan. All right. Let's get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watching now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Uh. What is this place? All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I hate it. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kind of. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Huh? Sir. Oh, they're coming. We're gonna do what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do. Well, the place looks deserted enough. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Excuse me. Oh 
Bro, why would you shoot? I had it. Damn it, Arthur! What was that? Let's fly at him, boys. Don't say me, that was what's his name? He shot him. It's my fault. Whoever shot that first shot, I should have. Ooh, I should have. Freaked. Let's see if I die. Let's see if I die. Will take us back to that point. Let me see. Let me see. Cause I want to do it differently. You know it don't even matter. Where I'm going, just cover me. Oh, they is surrounded. Mission no was wrenched from that checkpoint. Sir, walk in. I'm gonna just throw you down on the ground, beat you to death. God damn it, Arthur! What was that? They fly at him, boy. Uh huh. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall is going up to security. More on the right here. This double barrel ain't too much or nothing. We got more of them. Bastards on this side. A lot of them though. How are we gonna get out of here? They were sickest from finding us anyway. There's a goddamn horde of them on the left here. God damn it, they're coming in this way now. Okay. Get behind this before they shoot me through that.
didn't see that fire there. I saw it as soon as he said it. Looks like we're shooting up. Way out of here, fellas. Watch it, Charles. We got a pine box for you, boy. More on the right here. Behind you, Charles. We got more of the bastards on this side. This fella really don't like it. Ah! How do I keep going over there, okay? I'm gonna kill yours, sir. Who's that? Oh, okay. I thought that was one of my boys that gone dead. Get us out, get us out, get us out. Come on, boys. Come on, go, go, go. You guys going for me. Let's go. This is all your fault, Uncle. Should have scoped out better. Again, I'm gonna take him down. To do my, my, my fist. You take the left, and I'll take the right. Okay. Right on my right. Shh. all because you uncle can scope out better find out who we robbing what we robbing and why we robbing but well, we already know why we robbing it but first two oh y'all know i ain't fought in a while Good long while. Hopefully, I don't die because of it. Yeah. Oh, 
if you on horse, you gonna die. Get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Who is this L character? If I ride back this way, I'd give him that note, but. Lenny, okay. Preaching forgiveness. I kind of want to get this little, the little thing off of me though. Let's go, come on, let's go get him for the law. He ain't gonna be a witness tomorrow, alright? Say hello to Dutch from the Kinda need some. Let's waste my regulars first. I ain't know I had some up. All right, slimes. On the ooh, I look a little bit rough. All right, slimes. I know there's not a bit of ooh. What's wrong? Let me take a rest real quick. Take a rest right. Here. Here's the way I see it. If you're interested, everything changes. Anyway, slimes. This is the end of this episode. Of Red Dead Redemption 2 Episode 6. Alright? Go pick this back up at Episode 7. Stay tuned for that. It's Slimy Gamer slamming out for another YouTube video.